Microsoft is releasing a new universal app for Windows and Windows Phone called Movie Creator Beta. We're going to show you what it's all about. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central and we're taking a first look here at Movie Creator Beta. It is a cool new app that Microsoft just released. It's available on Windows and Windows Phone on all devices I should add, which is really kind of cool. So we're just going to go through here and I'm going to show you some of the neat features. So we'll do create a new movie and it's got a nice tutorial. Now what makes this app I think really, really good is the fact it's actually very powerful but also very easy to use. And in 2014, creating videos on the go is always a challenge, especially on your phone. So we're just going to go here and we'll just add footage. And you guys see I have uh, videos, photos, or places. I don't have any places saved, but if I did, I could basically swap there. And you'll see it goes through a map and I can pick uh, locations I've been in. It also brings up your photo collection here. And then what you do is, I only have one video, but I'm going to choose it with a check. I can also go through my photos and I can pick a few of those. So I can pick a picture of me there. Uh, one of a Windows phone in a store. I'll get some alcohol and some outdoor photos. And when you're all set, you hit done. And now it's going to put that into a linear format, which you can kind of scroll through. And then what's really neat here, if I want to change the order, you just hold it down and you can move this anywhere you want, which is definitely easy to use. You can also see little tools pop up there, including an edit button, delete, and I'm not even sure what that one is. That is a duplicate clip. Are you sure you want to duplicate? So there you go. So you can even create a, a second version if you want. Uh, all great stuff. If we hit this button up here, it actually goes through, and this is where you pick your output options. So you can do low quality, medium quality, or high quality, including 1280 by 720. So if you want, you can check that. And then there's some advanced settings down here, including image quality, preview, normal, high. You can choose the video resolution specific which is really really nice and of course you can even bump the frames per second all the way up to 30 or 24 depending on whatever you actually choose hit done goes back to the main screen here and you can see I can enter a title I can also enter an end credit there all optional that's what's really neat I think about this app everything is basically optional so you can go through you can add text and if I wanted to do a uh, individual clip, I could just basically go back to the main screen here and then hit the little pencil. And it goes into a sub menu here showing the photo. I can enter captions there as well. And I go to filters, which is really neat, and then create those. I can rotate it around, pan and zoom if I can tap that appropriately. And so star end, all that, and including duration of the clip. So you can go through and basically micro edit everything, move them all around. Finally, you can do a whole theme here for the app, it's, uh, for the video itself. And you can see there are plenty of themes to choose from, but there's even more. So if you tap that button, it's not active right now, but it goes to a store where Microsoft is presumably going to be adding more themes along the road and you can basically download and add them to your app, which is really kind of cool. Finally, choose select music and this is going to go through your library and bring up all the music you have. I don't actually have too much music on this phone, but if I wanted to, I can choose say audience of one by rise against and hit OK. And now it adds that music and then I can basically hit watch and it's going to create the video. Now, actually, I don't want to play that audio. I just remembered because I'll probably get a copyright infringement uh, request from uh, Rise Against. Now, this is on a Lumia 735, so the processor isn't very fast. And I did set the output to very high. So it's going to take a little while for it to actually render the file, as you can see here. I'm going to just pause and we'll come back here when it's all done. Okay, we're back and now the movie is basically all ready so I can hit play and basically preview it here and jump around. Uh, that was just a squirrel that I saw this morning. It doesn't look like, yeah, there we go. Now that's skipping around, you can see it. 
and there are the different photos. So it hops between those. I didn't do transitions or anything fancy, but you get the general idea. And when it's done, you hit save, and now it's gonna save it to the device, which is really awesome because it's not saving it to the cloud necessarily. You always have the files on the device itself. Okay, we're back on the main screen here, and I have a, a play button basically for that movie. I have a re-edit button, which is really good if I change my mind. And of course, the share button, which is the native sharing found in Windows Phone 8.1, meaning I can, of course, put this to Facebook. I can use this to OneDrive, email, SMS, whatever I want, and basically any third-party app that is built into the share picker. And that is basically it. It's a great little app. I think you guys will really like it. It's also available on Windows 8.1, so you can put it onto your Surface or Lumia 2520 tablet and be all set. Overall, really good. Head to Windows Central for more information, and let us know what you think. Take care, Bonnie.